This is awesome. Taking the walk up the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, Hampton Cove in Huntsville, Alabama. Looking forward to today, huh? Yes, I am. Oh my goodness, I am so pumped. Absolutely pumped. Let's take a look. Everything here. This is this isn't even the half of it, people. This is not even the half of it. We have got ourselves quite a day ahead. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. This is awesome. What a beautiful clubhouse, all of it. Everything here is just immaculate, ladies and gentlemen. Silver Lake, and they got all of the uh, RTJ courses around. There's Silver Lakes, that's in Anniston and Gadsden, Alabama. Hampton Cove, which is where we are, Huntsville. Another Hampton Cove. Oh my, oh my. Cambrian Ridge in Greenville, Alabama. I don't know where exactly that is. There's Grand National in Auburn. There's another Hampton Cove over there. We're in Hampton Cove, so obviously there'd probably be more uh, Hampton Cove pictures lying around. Head over here to the, boy oh boy, look at all this. 2015 uh, state champion, 2016 state champion, Kayla Marard. Shout out to you if you're watching this. I sure hope you are, because dang, what a great course this is. Deserves all the praise, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to start off 2022, let me tell you that. What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we are at the Robert Trent Jones Golf Club at Hampton Cove, the Highlands course in Huntsville, Alabama. I was on spring break. We went down to Alabama for three days. We played Hampton Cove twice, and we were planning on playing the Shoals in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, on Saturday on our way back up. But um, I'm, I'm going to get to how the, all that went down later. For now, just enjoy this one, guys. I've been meaning to get this out to you guys for a long time now. I'm happy to be back. Got even the, um, the yardage book out there for you, all the... Um, pictures of all the holes I figured I'd make this one get give it all the bells and whistles I possibly could because what an absolutely beautiful course this yeah. is I've seen like nice big shot. golf vloggers like I'm not talking little dinky 130 some subscriber guys like me I mean don't get me wrong I'm grateful for each and every one of you but I'm talking like the big guys like Zach Radford and um Kyle Berkshire and GM Golf and uh, some of those guys. They've done um, Robert Trent Jones golf vlogs at uh, Ross Bridge before. I know that Greg Cortman Golf has done golf vlogs at uh, Robert Trent Jones at Oxmoor Valley. Those are the ones in Birmingham, Alabama. Well, I'm pitching in on the RTJ Revolution. I want to see all the RTJ courses on YouTube, guys. I really do. This is my contribution to that, the Robert Trent Jones Highlands course at Hampton Cove in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, that's the one we're doing today. So, yeah, guys, this is this was a whole lot of fun. I had a great time on this trip. Um... 
I was actually planning on playing the river course on this day that I um, am recording this, but um, the river course was actually closed because of um, flooding. It sits right on a large river that connects to the Tennessee River, and um, with all the um, overnight rain, the overnight snow up north in like the Kentucky, Indiana area um, that flowed down, it just flooded the entire course out. And um, so what we decided to do was play the Highlands course um, both days. Um, I was planning on doing one golf log for the Highlands, one golf log for the river. Um, I wasn't really going to be too stingy on the score, but I mean, I was a little bit still because I was like, well, if I'm going to play the Highlands course, I'm at least going to show you guys the better of the two rounds. Um, that I played uh, the first day I shot in 89 it did not go that well I albeit the course is very difficult 73.4 138 and especially for never seeing it before um, I felt like I honestly played okay for most of the round there were just a few holes that I blew up a little bit on um, but um, I will actually show you guys some shots from the first round and then in the back nine um on like the same holes um i got i mean i did get a birdie um on the 14th and um one of my golf goals is to score a birdie in every state finally got alabama i was hoping it would only take me run round. thank goodness i got it on number 14 which honestly allowed me to break 90 and um, which is something I'm often able to do easily. And um, if we keep making putts like that today, guys, those little eight-footer right to lefters down the hill, slippery ones, we're going to be in good shape. So one over through two, as uh, my rambling has gotten us to hole number three, a par five, very difficult par five. It is um, – I have – actually got the yards book with me all right now 518 yards two fairways uh first fairway you got a 220 carry over water like if you want to go straight for the middle of the fairway which is what i'm trying to do i killed this one but i pushed a little bit and we got a little bit closer to that water than we wanted to get but still a very good tee shot giving us um a very good opportunity to bash a wood up there close to the green so this is my bit at that with the five wood it's a little thin it's a little skinny i'll be honest i was yeah, worried no about topping it or chunking it and having it trickle into the water so um a little bit of a um quick swing there which is definitely something that i need to avoid but uh, it's still gotten us to a good position, about 60 yards away from the pin on our third shot with a lot of green to work with. I honestly probably should have taken um, a lower club than this. I took a sandwich and like a two-thirds swing. It worked out pretty well. I just end up right on the back edge about 15, 18 feet away. But um, honestly, it probably would have been a better idea with, I mean, especially these greens aren't up to... Um, as fast as I've seen them get. Like, you see the Zach Radford vlogs. You see the Greg Cortman vlogs. They're a whole lot faster than this. I mean, not because Hampton Cove is not as good of a course. I mean, they're all owned by the same people. They're all equally good. Um, but um, I, I, but I, I will be honest. I was a little bit um, surprised with how um, slow the greens were. I mean they still weren't slow i mean slow is relative when it comes to this course but um i kept thinking rtj course is going to be fast it's going to be fast and they just weren't that fast which is part of the reason why i shot 89 the first day and uh, definitely part of the reason why i shot better today because i was more used to the speed um you know so with that said another good par there on three we're going into hole number four here downhill par three over a creek 183 yards had just put sunscreen on on this tee it it was really nice day today it was 65 degrees and sunny the whole day same as yesterday both days in huntsville we had great weather um 
So nothing to complain about there. But you guys ever tried to um, swing a golf club after putting sunscreen on and then not washing your hands? Yeah, it's really tough. And uh, hit a little bit of a toe jam shot there. And then a uh, nine iron bump and run to about nine feet here. I did make a putt um, similar to this one on number two. This one probably has a little bit more break in it, though, and it's not as downhill. Nice. Oh, we almost go two for two, but we get the lip out. Oh, man, that actually lipped out pretty far away from the hole. But um, we're in for bogey. Just trying not to step in Julius's line there to the right of your screen i played with a couple really nice guys they were they love the golf vlog they thought it was awesome uh julius uh he's a two handicap you guys are going to see uh a couple of his shots coming up and um definitely a um traveling man he's from waynesboro mississippi which is pretty close to Gulfport. i'm pretty sure um to all those from mississippi please let me know if that's correct um, but, uh, he's, um, was telling me that, uh, he's played like all the RTJ courses. He's, um, plays golf a ton and, uh, he's just getting back into it after injury. He was actually down to a scratch, um, about a year and a half ago, but since his injury, he's gone back up to a two, but he's still really good. He can absolutely demolish the ball. You guys are going to see some absolute bombs from him coming up. Because I, I just got a few of his shots because he went after me or I went before him. And uh, we just kind of overlapped. But it, watching him play, it, it was it was like Rick Jenner. Right? Oh, brother, we are not worthy. Oh, my goodness. It was very good golf. Um and uh, this is a pretty good chip shot while we're talking about good golf. I hit a terrible chunk shot on uh, the fifth hole, the barn hole that we're on right now. Just look at the views, guys. Just This is absolutely insane. I want to actually, like, commentate on my actual shots, but just when you get opportunities to play courses like this, At times, the shots, the uh, performance, the nitpicking is almost secondary to uh, what's going on around you. And, um, boy, I was... Oh, my goodness. And I get to share it all with you guys, and it's awesome. I love doing this, guys. And... Um, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Neither does this course when it comes to the difficulty. We got stroke hole one coming up here. We're three over through five holes. We've honestly been pretty consistent so far today. I'm um, going to give you a tee shot from dad here. He hits this one pretty good right in the middle of the fairway on the hardest hole. Yeah, no big deal, right? So, um... This hole, 406 yards, bends to the left, dogleg to the left. Um, the bunker, not the one to the very right of your screen, but the one to the left of that one, you want to take your drive right over that one. And uh, there's a bunker you can't see, another one down the left side. And um, I'm aiming at that first bunker, but I actually pull this on line with the second bunker. So this... Next shot is going to be really tough as um, the hole doesn't dogleg over there until like 20 yards after where I hit it until after that bunker. So this is a really tough shot. And if you guys remember on the, um, the course map, there's actually some water to the right of the screen. So this is a really risky shot I got here, about 150. I'm going to hit like a three-quarter punch draw six iron. That actually goes pretty well. Um, I hit it very nicely. Hit it too good over the back of the green um, into uh, some pine straw. But uh, I hit that absolutely wonderfully. And um, I knew that uh, that had to be a near-perfect shot in order for um, 
that to work. I probably should have just laid up, but sometimes you're just feeling it. Sometimes you um, just like the way it sets up to your eye, and uh, that's what that shot did for me. This shot was actually pretty tough. I had to carry it over the cart path that has, like, that little rail on it, and um, so... Um, I mean, optimal landing spot was on the cart path with the way I wanted to run it up because um, I didn't want to hit a flop shot because I think I might hit some branches up there. So that was actually a really tough shot. Uh, getting to this point was pretty good. I get this to about three and a half feet. There's a little Mario jump on the fringe there. But uh, very cross-country bogey for sure right there as we tap in. And it hits the pin, but we're playing COVID rules on this hole because we don't want to disturb Julius, the man himself. I should have left this putt in for him. He actually makes this. Um, yeah, great player. You guys are going to see a drive coming up from him here on uh, the third of a very hard three-hole stretch. Yeah, here he is. And... Um, very, I wouldn't say it's an odd-looking swing, but, um, I mean, whatever works, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter what your swing looks like as long as you, as long as it works for you. Yeah, as you can see, very short backswing, but just the hip turn through the ball is just thunderous. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully it's rubbing off on me as I hit a drive... On line with his, just about 10 yards short of him. But still a very good shot on a hole where you, the optimal line is um, over the bunker on the left of the fairway. And uh, this is into one of the toughest greens on the course. Green complexes on the course. Bunker, short left, a small pot one right before the water starts. And then of bunker to the front right very narrow entry onto the green and that's exactly where the pin is today and i just hit it about five feet right of where i need to and that's the difference between being on the green having a like a 10 foot putt for birdie and having a bunker shot going towards the water and I do not have good history with this bunker. On the first day I played here, it took me two to get out. That is one thing that I thought I was not doing very well. I was not putting the first round behind me as much as I should have been. Well, I mean, obviously, granted, I thought I wasn't going to be playing the same course again. But um, just having the the bad shots from the last round fresh in my memory whenever i encountered a situation similar to yet the day before this it was very tough to overcome and that was one of the times that i was able to do it with that great shot out of the bunker there to about seven feet so i got a chance to get a bandit par and uh, we don't quite do it as we pull the putt but still didn't take any worse than bogey on holes 5, 6, and 7. Obviously, I would have liked to throw a par on there, but plus 3 on a stretch of holes handicap 5, 1, and 7 are never going to kill you. Here's another shot by Julius here. Pin is on the very left side of the green today. He is absolutely hunting it. He actually didn't want to aim there, but... Um, Come on, Julius. You're not allowed to complain about that shot. That was he, You stuck it to 10 feet from 190 yards. I mean, I know you're a two handicap, but still, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's like a highlight shot. That's a shot of the day so far from anybody <laughs> out of the four of us that were playing. Um, let's see if I can top that. Obviously, it was definitely encouraging to watch his shot before I went here. Hit another toe jam shot yesterday on this hole but today i hit it very well except this time it gets caught up in that wind and it just goes to the right a little bit into another bunker and either way this and none of this is helping talking to dad i'm like i'm doing a lot of things right in this round i'm hitting a lot of good shots i'm striking the ball very well and it's just not quite click and it's just been bogey after bogey after bogey it seems like. I mean, being five over through seven, 
just pars and bogeys today. But at least we're going to get another par after this amazing bunker shot from a down slope this time over a big old hill that we got to carry and get it to four feet. That's a bunker wedge worthy. Dad was like, no, you better putt that. I was like, well, either way, this and none of this is helping. Dad. It's not often that you get to hit a shot that good. Just walking up close. here. He thought, it he said it was five, six it feet. Is that is not five feet. That is like four feet. Illegitimate wedge worthy. That is But, close. um, I'm just gonna yeah. Doing it. Very good shot. Instantly the highlight of the day so far. As we try to close out this front it's dead nine. Straight, uphill. Now we're five over through eight. I'm an idiot because I turned the camera off before I putted it. But uh, made the par. Very good hole there to recover. Now on to personally my favorite hole on the course. Uh, hole number nine. Big old step ladder fairway. Just kind of plateaus going up and up. As you can see on the right side of your screen. I hit a very good tee shot down the left side of the fairway. Got about 255 yards to the pin. Going to try to hit a five wood. Get it up close. And this is a great ball. I absolutely nuke this. That was awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful shot. You can't see the ball from here, but um, I'm like a foot short of the green. In 5'11", going uphill, that was probably, I mean... You guys saw the driver three wood on ironwood on course vlog number fifty nine, where I got it to th where I got it to five feet after like two shots, um, and then I missed the putt short. This is probably the second best I've ever hit a driver, and then, well, this time it was actually a five wood. Had I hit a three wood as good as I hit that five wood, I could have gotten that ball to the pin for sure. So cross country putt here. Mountainside putt with views of the Appalachian Mountains, as you saw a minute ago. Absolutely beautiful day for golf in a beautiful setting. What a great treat it was to play this course and um, see if we can put a little cherry on top with a birdie on the hole that I like to call the Ascension. Oh, the announcer's curse. I was talking about the ironwood putt that I left short, and I leave that one short. At least that one was for birdie and not eagle. I was really excited. And still a good par. Still two great pars to finish the day there. So nothing to really be upset about. That front nine was pretty solid. 41 plus 5 on a 33-76. Yard, par 36. Um, nothing worse than a bogey. All bogeys and pars. I know there was not that many fireworks in this round, but um, no Rick Jenneret calls. No, uh, nothing crazy like that. None of the, none of, not the Kyle Stanley, oh, hang on, hang on, you gotta be kidding, meme or whatever that I uh, have in some of my videos, but hey, Oh my goodness! What a great, great nine holes that I played. This is this picture was actually taken yesterday, but on um, hole number five, the barn hole. So, um, oh my gosh, guys! Sixteen putts, uh, three out of nine greens in regulation. That's not bad, and um, we've given ourselves a chance going into the back nine. Back nine's really tough though, but. Um, there are just some courses where even if you get your butt kicked, you still have a good time. This is one of them, guys. This really is. And uh, let me tell you, even, even though that's the case, I still got to get my game up. 41s. Yeah, they're nice and all. Those are good scores. Those are going to keep my handicap at a 7, maybe even a 6. Um, but uh, my buddy Nate. He shot a 76 um, the day that I'm doing this video. 
the day I'm doing this voiceover at Sylvan Glen. So um, he's far ahead of me <laughs> so far this season. So um, got to get our weight up a little bit. Hopefully we can um, turn on the Jets on the back nine, get some birdies um, on some really tough holes. I'm really looking forward to posting it. I don't. I honestly don't know when I'm going to have time to, but um, definitely looking forward to it. I've been wanting to get this video out for a long time, but college has been kicking my butt uh, each week. Um, I mean, I know some people coast through college. I mean, not me. I'm not that kind of person, guys. You know, I'm I'm all in all the time, all or nothing all the time. So um, that's the way I play golf. That's the way I go about my life, and... Um, it's been working. I've been doing well in school, and um, so all you guys that are worried about me, don't be, guys. I'm I'm doing I'm doing just fine, and I'm looking forward to this next summer, playing some great courses. Gonna try to play um, some of the courses that I really liked more often next year, or this upcoming year. I mean, like Beacon Hill, Heather Hills. You guys are gonna see some more vlogs from there. Fieldstone again. It's a good year ahead, guys, and um, 41 on a course this hard, it's definitely a good start. So that's all for now, guys. This video is getting long. Again, I'm trying my best to make shorter videos, but um, on a course like this, it's pretty difficult. Not a scratch golfer. He made a video that was 11 minutes long when he played Pebble Beach. How dare you? You deserve to do flyovers on each hole. You deserve to put all the memes you can ever find in that video. Give it all the bells and whistles. But, I mean, that's the way I make my videos. That's just, but hey, everyone has their own style. This is mine. I appreciate that you guys um, like it. And um, it's only just the beginning, guys. I can say that. And I'll be saying that for years and years because I love doing this. All right, guys. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.